What's up guys? Welcome back to T-Roy's Adventures. I'm back out in the woods today for another solo overnighter. I've hiked for a couple hours up to a hilltop I've picked out up here. Uh, this time I want to do a little different. I normally like to sleep in a hammock, but uh, this time I've got a DD 3x3 tarp I'd like to try out as a ground pitch set up. So I've got my bag already hung from the tree. Let's get this tarp out and uh, get the leaves cleared off here and, and get this thing set up. Stick around. So I picked out a good spot here. It's level and uh, I've got good protection from above without any widow maker branches. That's the first thing I like to look for when I'm picking out a spot, whether I'm sleeping in a hammock, a tent or whatever. Uh, it's going to be very windy tonight and the chances of a branch falling down and hitting my tent are very high. So I just got to take a look around and make sure nothing's going to injure me in the middle of the night. As you can see up above here, this is all green, lush branches. I don't see anything dead up here. So it looks like a good spot to get set up. However, this is what you want to look out for. This is a good spot under here to set up. It's a nice flat area. But this branch goes way up and it's dead all the way up there. If the wind comes and knocks that over, that might hurt. So you want to look out for stuff like that for sure. So the DD 3x3 does come with some tent pegs and guy lines. They're not very heavy duty, but they'll work. Uh, I'm going to be needing some more for doing the setup that I'm doing. But uh, let's get this thing set up. For the setup I'm doing, I'm going to use this uh, extra sewn material in the middle where it's got the seam. That's going to be my front to back. So I'm going to have my front facing this way because the wind's coming from the opposite direction. And I want the wind blowing in there. First thing I want to do is starting at the back corner right here, the first rung in, put a peg here. And on this side, the same thing on the, the next rung in. I'm just going to this underneath. And repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, now for the front. Uh, this will be the front entrance here, uh, but what I want to do is take this outside corner and come in one rung and pull this corner into here. And that's going to determine how wide the door opening is. I could move it a little further in and make it smaller or take it out and make it larger, but I'm going with this. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, same thing on this side. Find this corner. Go the first rung in, pull it here, we're going to stick a stake in, okay. okay, now this next part requires either a trekking pole, which I have, or I could just find a stick about the size that I need, but what I want to do is put this underneath here on this first hook on the reinforced area. On the bottom, it, it does have reinforcement tape, and this won't rub a hole in it. So I just gotta extend this pole out until I, I get the right height. Okay, that's it. Now this next part, you wanna take one of your guy lines and attach it to this center loop. Stake it down right in the middle. Put 
Hold tight. That's why it's important to put this uh, seam in the middle because it's got a lot of pressure going on both ways on it. But it's really tight once you get it. Now the next thing I've got to do is get some guy lines and, and pull off the opening here. And uh, that will tighten up the awning. All right, so there's just one more thing I did to finish this off. This was pretty low back here. It does have this one tie off point here. So I've extended a guy line from here. Luckily I have a tree right behind the tent. So I was able to tie it off right there. If I didn't have one, you could set another uh, trekking pole or a, a stick right there and tie it off to be able to open that up. And one thing you might have to do is remove these corner stakes and move them in slightly be able to get a little bit more headroom there and that's it it's complete and there's plenty of room inside even with this pole right here and there's plenty of room back there and I'm gonna put my ground cover down and get my sleeping mat set up So for my sleeping mat, I've got the Climate Static V. This should do just fine tonight. And I did put this ground cover down with the reflective side up. It's not going to get cold tonight. It should be around in the 40s or so in the morning. So it's, that's not too bad, but that might reflect back some body heat and keep a little bit of heat in here. And I do have the Kelty Bestie blanket. Um, I may just use this as a pillow or I may wrap up in it if I get cold, but I think that should be just fine for the night. So now I've got the tent all set up. That's good to go. I'm going to start thinking about fire now. Uh, I'd like to cook supper over a fire. Uh, I did bring my burner. I could cook it on a frying pan, but uh, I think I'm going to make a Dakota fire pit. Simple reason. It, it's easy to cook on, and it is a bit windy. It's probably the safest fire to do here. Um, I may not start the fire unless the wind dies down some. Right now it's a little windy, but I'm going to go ahead and start digging it out anyway, just in case. So, get this Dakota fire pit going.
Well, finally made it through. I'm gonna get a fire lay put down the bottom here and see if I can get a fire started in here. As you can see, the interesting thing about the Dakota fire pit is, is there's no smoke. It's burning clean. I'm also burning hard wood. I found some hickory, so it burns nice and clean already. It's got a nice draw. So I'll let these coals get going here, and I think I'm going to put a burger on tonight. I brought some meat with me, some bacon and cheese. Uh, I got a, I got this. It was almost frozen. Plus, I've got a couple of ice packs just to keep it fresh while I was here. So it's good to go. I figured if I'm gonna be out here doing all this hard work, I'm gonna treat myself to a good bacon cheeseburger. Why not? Let's put one more in there in case I'm really hungry. Or if the Sasquatch comes walking up and he's hungry, I'll give him a burger. This is one of my favorites, Montreal steak.
pepper jack. Yeah, you gotta put the Duke's mayonnaise on there. I'm gonna sit back and have a burger. Nobody said you couldn't just survive and not thrive, so uh, I'm gonna treat myself to this good bacon cheeseburger out in the woods. That's yeah, so good. I think it made it better because I found hickory wood to smoke it on. So good. And that pepper jack cheese. It seems like everything is better cooked over the fire anyway. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this burger and we'll be back talking to you soon. See what I'm full now. That was a good burger. You just can't beat a burger cooked over the fire. This Dakota fire pit, it just worked great. It had plenty of heat and uh, didn't get smoked out. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the night. I got my survival FM 21-76 manual. Take a look through this and, and read this book and go get my, uh, my bed set up for the night and uh, just take it easy. Nescafe Taster's Choice tonight. Get me some coffee before I go to bed. Hmm, it's 
good. Oh yeah, that's good. Need to get me some coffee before I go to bed. It's about 10 o'clock now. Uh, I've already had supper now and I've had some coffee, so I'm good to go. Starting to get a little sleepy. I'm gonna let this fire burn out. I'm gonna hang out around here a little while until it goes out. Got my bed all set up. I've got that um, UCO uh, candle lantern in there. It'll just put off a little bit of light, a little bit of heat, and it'll run for about nine hours. Um, it's pretty quiet out here now. It was really windy today and loud out here, and uh, now the wind's died down and just got the uh, occasional coyote barking close by, but uh, nothing to worry about there. And I'm just going to sit by this fire and relax, enjoy the peace and quiet, and uh, hopefully sleep good tonight and get up in the morning. And I'll get some breakfast made and I might walk around and do a little exploring here. And then uh, pack up camp and call it a day. But it's been a good day. I'm tired. I'm sure I'll sleep good. Uh, between hiking a couple hours uphill all the way up here and then digging out this hole and setting up camp. I'm pretty tired. But I had a good supper. That was awesome. I'm just going to sit by here and enjoy the fire for a bit. And uh, call it a night. Unless anything exciting happens. I will talk to you guys in the morning. light turned off get these bugs out of here but so far I think I'll sleep pretty good tonight it's pretty cozy in here and it's not very cold at all I do have this reflective blanket down and uh, got the little lantern going here and uh, should sleep pretty good tonight I don't think I'm even gonna need this blanket here I'm just gonna use it as a pillow and uh, get up and Get some breakfast going in the morning, and I'll see you then. Good night. Good morning, guys. It's about 6.30. So I ended up getting about eight hours of sleep last night. Not too bad. It did get cold though. Colder than I thought I ended up having to get this sleeping blanket out, but uh, I slept good. Uh, get up and get some coffee going. cleaned out and get a fire going.
that's a good sight to see when you're cold. Yeah, these matches work great if you guys don't have any already. They're made by UCO, stormproof, waterproof matches. They burn for a while and start up very quick. Right now, I'm gonna get some coffee.
I'll tell you what, that's a good sandwich. First thing in the morning when it's cool out and you're hungry, <laughs> you can't beat bacon and eggs cooked over the fire and fresh coffee, so it's a good morning. It's not too windy today, not like yesterday. Pretty blue sky, we got the birds chirping. So it's a pretty good day so far. I slept well last night. I didn't get cold. I did have to pull out my blanket there and cover up just to knock the chill off, but I only woke up maybe once or twice. This morning I woke up hearing the birds, so that's pretty good. But uh, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this breakfast and see what else I can get into here. Well, it's that time again. Time to pack out camp. I've had a great time here this weekend. I was able to build a Dakota fire pit and, and cook my food on it. I set up this ground tent for the first time. I'm really a hammock camper. I enjoy hammock camping, but I really did sleep well last night, so I'll probably do it again. Um, I've got all my dishes cleaned up. Uh, I just got to get let this fire go out. And the good thing about it is I'll, I'll be able to take the dirt that I took out of the hole and, and fill it back up so nobody will trip over it and fall in it. Plus, if I come back here again, it'll probably be easier next time to dig it out. So, um, I've had a great time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and like, comment, and share. Uh, I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. All right, that's all that's left. Fire pit's filled in. Maybe I'll come back here another time. But we're packed up. Getting ready to pack out.